For hundreds of years, people have gathered to go to worship, and experts say about 75% of churches in the United States are declining in membership. But there are more churches now than ever before. The pastors estimate about 25% of residents in Madison County attend church. As cultures change, the way leaders are attracting people to the gospel is also changing. But is there a point where a church is no longer church? Local pastors weigh in. Today's church looks like this. Maybe this. And sometimes this. Everybody in West Tennessee has raised a hand, walked an aisle, you know, prayed a prayer, gotten some water, done something that made them feel at some point or another, everybody raised their hand and said, I don't want to go to hell. In the Bible Belt, a church meets on nearly every street corner, each with its own challenges for the 21st century. Some will be in a suit and tie, others come casual, but those are just differences that will first meet the eye. The challenges of pastoring in the modern world are, are the same and totally different than they used to be. Everyone has had a different experience with what church means. They stopped literally and said, I, I don't know if I can come through the doors. I think the, the walls might fall down. Uh, and for other people, th that, that space is a place of hope. Which means everyone is in a different place. When people are in a certain place, you can't move them quicker than they want to, but you have to continue to uh, plant seeds. Some come for the music, some come for the socialization, and some come for the Word of God. Oh some churches are taking a more progressive approach to getting people in the doors. When you do church like people did in 1960, see that's the thing, if you do business the way you did in 1960, it wouldn't work today. But people have a hard time recognizing that in the church world. We try our very best to listen to what people are saying from a, a consumer standpoint because the truth is that that's, the, that's what they're looking for and that's what will help them love them exactly where they are. But it's sort of help us give them an opportunity to take a next step away from that. And these methods beg the question, is there a line the outside world just shouldn't cross? It's something pastors say they often consider. Is this something God would have us to do today? Uh, is it biblical? And then most importantly, is it effective? It's about investing in people, not traditions or depending on a particular denomination. That's the problem with church and traditions. It's not the tradition itself. It's the lack of understanding the tradition and, and maybe holding on to it too tightly when it's no longer needed or no longer effective. People get so tied down to a denomination that they cannot see themselves in being in true relationship with other Christians. Some changes in today's church include a tech-savvy congregation. Instead of turning in our Bibles, a lot of people pull out their phones now, and, and I'm okay with that. We provide Wi-Fi for that very reason in the worship center. But leaders say it also depends on their members. Good old-fashioned bulletin will put in on paper what's on the walls, and all you gotta do is pick up the paper and, and read it. Although the tech world poses the potential for distraction, leaders say they want it to be a helpful tool that engages people, but still they say their people are the best advertising campaign. 99.99% of the time, it's one or two things. It's a friend or it's social media. And people are the reason the church first began. If church is just the place you go, then it's also a place you leave. As churches continue to plant locations all across West Tennessee, each say there's a unique method for a message that stays consistent. And at the end of the day, it's not a competition for members. Anytime the goal becomes, I have to keep people, I have to get people in my church and I have to keep people in my church and we have to do whatever it takes to get people in my church. And I think we've done something that, that's less than a faithful expression of the gospel. That's why churches say they're working together through events like this one in East Jackson, bringing people out into the community. If our efforts can be united, I think that's a, a, a beautiful picture of what the church is supposed to be. Reaching the community members who need a church home and don't believe in the Word of God. We all have the same message, and that's Jesus, but we present it in a little bit different ways. I think that the mission of, of the church, not Journey Church, the church in general, should be to storm the gates of hell with squirt guns and bring back as many hostages as possible. So like, I just I have no desire to sit around and go, man, one day I should die and, and think there was something else I could have done. Each church says it's at a different place in their growth. Some like Skyline and Forest Heights and Highland Park have been around for decades, while others like Soul Quest and Journey Church have come into West Tennessee over the past several years. In Madison County alone, there are 150 registered churches.